All righty, folks, Captain Dave Sport Fishing here, Jacksonville, Florida. Just got done running out in my barrel, running up to 133 degrees with spigot water that comes out of my well right over there, which well water in Florida is between 70 and 72 degrees, all right? So what I did is I fill up my barrel and I wanted to show you what comes out of your engine after one day. I basically did a five hour trip today, okay, with some folks. And what was in this barrel after running the engine out, and I'm talking running, engine running in this barrel up to temperature, all right? This is what came out of my motor. See that? Look at that. Unbelievable, huh? Absolutely unbelievable. So, look at the size of that stuff. What is that? That's one day. Because I just washed the engine out just the other day. I wash the engine every single time. All right, let's see what this is. Salty, sandy debris. And I'll tell you something. I'll tell you straight up. If you are not doing this in the St. John's River... If you're not doing this, that's one day. Let me show you something else. If you're not doing this, this is what clogged up my fuel cooler. In previous videos, I showed my fuel cooler. So I've been collecting this day after day. And I'm going to show you here out in the light, out in the daylight, where I'm adding to my collection. All right, I got to open this jar. I got a big old pickle jar here, and I'm going to add to my collection of stuff coming out of my engine. All right, let's see. This is very difficult. I'm doing this with my phone. I'm not doing it with my regular GoPro. There you go. See that brown stuff? That right there. Let's go out in the light here. There you go, folks. That's two or three times. But that right there, look at the flecks of crap in there. That's what's collecting from the St. John's River into, and I am going to add this now. Okay, and then I pour off the water. So I'm going to pour off some of the water. God, this is hard. I hate, I hate smartphones. So now you can see. Let me see if I can get a better look down the throat of this thing. This is three days. Where's the damn lens? There's three days. <coughs> Put it up against the aluminum of my boat. That's maybe three or four days. All right. And if you're not getting this out of your engine, there you go. If you're not getting this out of your engine and your fuel cooler is going to clog up because you add this, whatever, granular garbage, you add that to salt and you just use the flusher here, okay? The only reason I had this off is I usually sometimes will just finish up with this after running the engine, because I don't want to put it away, you know, hot. I don't know, I just, I'm just anal as holy hell. And of course, as I showed in my last video, which will be in the description below, I will have other videos. 
This is what happened to me. This is the fuel cooler. I showed this. That's the fuel cooler. Fuel in one side, water in the other. You don't think at those turning those right angles right there that you're not getting salt build up in here and all that crud, that crud right there on top of salt. It happened to me. It took exactly five years. About five years. And it clogged it slap up. And then when you have your engine stalling out in the middle of the summer in Florida, I am letting you know what mechanics love. Around here, they love that. They love it. Now that could be all just from the boat ramp because the boat ramp is an absolute disaster as far as silty, nasty crap. But all I can tell you is I don't feel like having this fill up full of crud again and I will be checking it hopefully in January. I'm gonna pull this out and see what it looks like and how clear it is. And I'm going to probably replace this as a brand new one with the one that's in there that I've already completely cleaned out that was shutting me down on every single charter trip. So, there's my barrel. Rubbermaid commercial, 70 gallon. You don't need all 70 gallons. All you need to do is here's the low water pickup. That's the reason I use it. There's my low water pickup way down here. So that's the reason I can't use the nose cone, the, the muffs. Just putting the muffs here does nothing down here. They tell you to put masking tape over it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, okay, that's really going to work great. Send off your overheat alarm. So all you have to do is fill it up to about right about here. It's not like you got to fill this thing up full of 70 damn gallons, especially in the winter when even my well water is cold. Okay. I run it up to about 130. It's got 120 uh, thermostat in it. So there you go. I just wanted to give you a, a quick update right from the Jetty Wolf after today. And it's the 28th of December 2019. Thanks for watching and be aware if you're in the St. John's River that if you don't flush and if you don't do the proper flushing after five years you're getting shut down. I don't know if Yamahas do it but I have a Suzuki and I know Suzuki's do it because it happened to me. Thanks for watching.